Ellen Glasgow is, I don't know. <laughs> Who is Ellen Glasgow? Um, I think she's a poet or a writer of some sort. I don't know. This is the true story of five students who go to Glasgow Middle School. Picked to have their classes taped. Find out what happens when kids stop having recess and start getting real. Hello, my name is Vincent and I am in sixth grade and I went to Belvedere Elementary School. Salam, my name is Nardos and I am in sixth grade. Last year I attended Adamdam Elementary School in Arlington. Hi, my name is Sam. I am in 8th grade and I went to Bailey's Elementary School. Hi, my name is May. I'm in 8th grade and I went to Bailey's Elementary School. I think the hardest thing about transitioning to Glasgow was the size difference and having so many different classes. Hân chào các em học sinh. À, hân hạnh mừng đón các em đến Glasgow. favorite part about Glasgow is the lockers and how I get to see my friends every time between class. Hey, now that we've entered the building, it's time to open our lockers. A locker combination consists of three numbers. My locker combination is 32, 36, 26. To clear out the locker, we have to turn the knob a few times. Next, we can enter my first locker number, which for me is 32. Now that we've done that, we can go to 36. Next, we can go to 26. Now that we've done that, we can open our locker and get ready to start our day and go. Yeah. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the building, everybody hands go up. And they stay there. And they say yeah. This is a schedule, odd days are period one, three, five, seven, and eighth period. And on even days, which is today, is second period, fourth period, sixth period, and seventh period, which we have every day, and eighth, which is also every day. I have been playing the viola since fourth grade at Bailey's, and I'm also part of the Panther Groove Band, where we get to play our instruments outside of school and in school, 
such as at the Hoop It Up night basketball game. Today during Spanish class, we played a game where our teacher described a word and we had to write it up on the board in Spanish. Whoever wrote the word fastest got a Jolly Rancher. This is Fit Chorus, and right now we're practicing singing Counting Stars a cappella, which means that there's no soundtrack or musical instruments. My favorite part of chorus is in the spring we get to go on the spring trip, which is a competition that is usually hosted at an amusement park, so that's always really fun. Some of my favorite foods to get in the cafeteria are pizza and spicy chicken. And some of the foods I don't like would include peanut butter and jelly sandwich and probably most of the salads. A lot of kids like to get Cheetos or Doritos from the vending machine a lot.
narratives. What was hardest about transitioning to Glasgow from your elementary school? Um, the most, the most hardest thing was that um, you have different classes and like different teachers, so you always have to transition between the classes. What do you like most about middle school? Um, I like that we have electives, so we get to choose our own classes and we pick what we learn. How many times did you get lost at the beginning of the year? I got lost about six or seven times. How much time do you have between classes and are you ever late? Um, we get about five minutes between the classes and there's a warning bell. So usually um, after the warning bell ring, um, rings, I'm probably in class. Um, I use my agenda to keep track of what homeworks I have, and um, I also sometimes use it to jot down, like, if we have tests and if I need to study for them. And if I don't have homework, I just write no homework for each class. Okay, Vincent, what was hardest about transitioning to Glasgow from your elementary school? Well, it's very different from my elementary school because now we have um, lockers and um, we have different classes. We don't just stay with one teacher. So it was really hard because we have to move from class to class. What do you like most about middle school? Well, there's a lot more um, fun activities that you can do here like um, technology, for example. Um, you can build rockets, cars, all that stuff. How many times did you get lost at the beginning of the year? I got lost a lot depending on which class it was because some of them are far away, some of them are really close and I don't even notice. Mm -hmm. And so I just get lost and I get late too. How much time do you have between classes, and are you ever late? Well, we have five minutes to transition to our next class, and I am late sometimes because I forget where the class is, and I just get late. What's the hardest part about transitioning to Glasgow from your elementary school? Well, the hardest thing from transitioning from elementary school to middle school was um, not having recess because um, you don't get like to hang out with your friends outside, so that was the hardest thing for me. What do you like most about middle school? What I like the most about middle school is that you learn more and you you're getting ready for the outside world more. My point of confusion is what is the equation to find the volume of a rectangular prism? Um, what I like about AVID is tutorials because you can present a question and they help you get the answer, but they don't just tell you the answer. They ask you questions to help you reach the answer. 
so that's what I like most about Avid. And some field trips we've been on were to Jeb Stewart High School. We got to tour and to see what programs there are available. And we also went to Marymount to like see the college and see what it's like to be on a campus. And the laptop and the MiFi, they give you a form to sign to take it home or leave it in school. That's to help you if you don't have a laptop at home to do your homework or any research you have to do, but you have to be very responsible. The ambassador program is something you the teachers ask you to volunteer if you want to help new students and tour them around the school and help them like know the school just like at the beginning of the year people are going to help you Hi, rising sixth graders. It's Mr. Durellis, principal here at Glasgow Middle School. We're excited to have you on board in a couple months. Uh, we look forward to seeing you walk through the doors. Hi, rising sixth graders. My name is Mr. Maskell. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Glasgow Middle School. We can't wait to have you join our awesome school and our great community. Hi, fifth graders. I'm Ms. Ritchie, assistant principal here at Glasgow Middle School. I hope you're having a great rest of your fifth grade year. I am looking forward to seeing each and every one of you next fall. Um, come see me if you have any questions your first week at Glasgow. Hey, new sixth graders coming to Glasgow. We're looking forward to having you. I am Mr. Diadamo. I'm an assistant principal. Please bring the sun with you. This is terrible. Bring, bring the sun on down to Glasgow. See you soon. Hello, my name is Ms. Golden, and I am the Director of Student Services here at Glasgow. And I cannot wait until you get here. We're going to have so much fun. Hi, I'm Miss Mosier, and I have a caseload of students with last names A through B-U-R. I am Miss Goldman, and my caseload are students with the last name B-U-S to G-A-N. Hi, I'm Miss Philmeyer, and I'm your school counselor. If your last name begins with G-A-O through K-U. My name is Miss Pareja, and I am going to be working with students whose last name begin with L-A through N-G. I'm Miss Danielsos, and if your last name starts with <laughs> N-H to S-A-L-I, I am your counselor. Hi, I'm Mr. Carlo, and I am the counselor for students whose last names begin with S A L O to Z. One piece of advice I would tell a rising sixth grader is to stay organized, keep all your papers, and do your homework. I would say that you should definitely choose your electives carefully because you will either have them for a, one semester or a whole year. What's one piece of advice you would give to a rising sixth grader? Um, you have to start getting like very serious about your schoolwork because everything's harder. And, yeah. What is one piece of advice you would give to a rising sixth grader? Um, try to be on time and to do your homework and everything because um, the grading is um, different here. It's instead of like numbers, one, two, three, four, like last year, it's um, A, B, or C, or something like that. What's one piece of advice you would give a rising sixth grader? An advice I would give is to always try your best 
and never to give up. Control now, we can't even slow down. We don't have to.